Okay, uh, thank you for introduction. Um, first, uh, my oral English is not good, so maybe I need to uh, speak slowly. Um, my name is Junxu. I'm from uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences. So uh, this, uh, this paper is about the modular invention hidden lump problem and evasive conclu conclusion generate. So I will introduce the five parts. So the first part, I need to introduce the modular invention hidden number problem. This problem is, is introduced in 2001, Berlin, Halloway, and Hargrave introduced. Uh, this is algebra complexity assumption in order to design um, so, uh, so the random number generator and uh, MSC code. Next, uh, I will introduce the definition. Definition is about given prime P, consider a secret alpha. Alpha is belong to uh, prime field P, and uh, given N plus one Ti. So Ti is none. And uh, given one over alpha plus Ti, MSB, given MSB, in other words, one, plus, uh, one over alpha plus Ti is on Louis, but given MSB, MSB is mean most uh, significant uh, bits. So our goal is recover the hidden number alpha. Okay? So uh, previous works, Berlin, Halloway, and Half Graph give the deep analysis about uh, this problem. And two bounds um, was present, was given, uh, he, he, heuristic. And uh, also he give conjecture. Um, MIHMP in short is hard whenever delta over log P is smaller than one over three. Then Ning Shan et al. give a rigorous proof for the first bound. Okay, this paper, um, we give a new bound. This bound is about uh, delta over log p, larger than one over d plus one, where d is any given positive integer. So uh, when d is larger than two, so our bound is uh, one over d plus one is smaller than the previous bound, one over three. In other words, we disprove a conjecture. Okay, that's the, I will trans uh, transformation this problem. And this problem, uh, we can uh, emulate, uh, emulate alpha. Why we need uh, emulate alpha? because alpha is an unbound problem. Alpha bit size is similar to P, so we need to emulate alpha. We can get these shaped equations, where alpha OJ, B OJ, C OJ is now. X0, X1, Xn, total on Louis. Moreover, this is small compared to P. So this problem, so this problem could write this. So our new goal is find, is recover XO, X1 until Xn in polymer time, such that the bound X is as much as possible. What is bound X? X is equal to P over two to that. And if uh, the desired root is root, uh, recovered, we can recover the hidden alpha. So we can solve MIHMP. Moreover, X is bigger and implies data is small. So we want to X is bigger and bigger. Yeah, this paper, we can use the tool is the Cobb-Smith technical. 
The Cobb Smith technical is proposed by Cobb Smith in the 1993 and 1906. This, uh, this technical has uh, many applications, such as the cryptanalysis of RSA, so the random number generator and uh, computation, com computation hard problem, and so on. So now I will introduce the Cobb Smith technical. So overview, this technical, we can divide four steps. The first one, we can collect several polynomial such that the desired root, desired root, desired root is a common modular root. This is the step one. Step two, we can construct the net is L. L is depend on the equation a coefficient vector of a polynomial, this, this big X is bound, is bound, is value. That's three, second, step three, we can use the lattice reduction algorithm, such as LLL. So in order to obtain n plus one polynomial, such that the desired root is the common root over, over integer, over integer. So the last step, we can use the global basis to the compute uh, the desired root. But the last step, we need uh, the following assumption. Sorry, this, this assumption, it means the ideal by the n plus one polynomial ideal is a dimension zero. It means uh, this equation's roots, the number is finite, is finite. So in this paper, we justify this the assumption use uh, uh, computer experiments. Okay, the Cobb-Smith method or the technical is a is a coin idea is a handful polynomial is a very important to this paper. Yeah, to get n plus one polynomial, we need the following simplified condition. This is a, a determinant L, power one over dimension L is smaller than P power D, two power D. Okay, so the left side of the condition is me geometric mean of all diagonal of the basis matrix. Yeah. So the polynomial whose corresponding diagonal elements is less than, is smaller than P to D is called a Hempel polynomial. So the Hempel polynomial, the more the bound X is big. Is large and large. Why? Why it works? So I need to explain the last page. So consider a triangle basis matrix B, B dimension uh, is W. Uh, you determine that there is P to alpha times X to beta. Okay. If we add a new linear independent GI into B, into B, so we can get a new triangle basis matrix, B plus. So B plus is dimension is W plus one. If GI is a handful polynomial, so D plus determinant is equals um, Determine the B times gamma i. So gamma i is smaller than P to D. So before and GI, we can use this is the condition. We can get X is smaller than this one. After under the GI, we can get a new bound. This is, this is a new. So this is the bound is bigger than this bound. Why? Because 
gamma i is smaller than p to d, because gamma i at g i is a harmful polynomial. So, if we can, if we and m m polynomial harmful, sorry, this is a harmful polynomial, we can get this bound. This will be very, very big because this is about the exponential about m. So we want and m is very, very large. So let's, uh, I will introduce our work. So we end the new n choose d plus 1 come for polynomial into into the lattice compared to the previous work. But the number of all polynomials is n choose d plus 1 is 1 plus 01. It means that the Hempel polynomial is dominant. So we method is very efficient. This is a the behind the reason. So we can get the new bound. X is smaller than P to 1 minus 1 over D plus 1. This is imply this bound. Then the previous bound is X is smaller than P to 2 over 3. This is bound, so the con conjecture. conjecture. So the new bound is is improved conject. So we can give an example. Because this is this is lattice, we can triangle lattice. We can choose the eleven polynomial where G9, G10, G11 is a harmful polynomial because his diagonal is smaller than P to D. P to D. Compare the previous work. He just choose the eight polynomial. He don't choose the G9, G10, G11. So his bound is P to 1.3. But the new bound is P to 1.375. So the new bound is better than old bound. The reason is him for polynomial are uh, anti the my lattice, our lattice, sorry. So this is an experiment we can um, verify this. We found the, we found the, the experiment bound is a, a bit better than the theoretical bound. We do uh, the 100 experiment every time. So, immersive conclusion generate is uh, the another problem. It means that it's given a cigarette seed VO, VO, V0. We can output a uh, sold random sequence N plus one outputs. And from the attack view, we can find, we can find, recover, we can recover the cedar VO, given N plus one outputs. And this problem is also could be translated into this shape, this shape polynomial equations. Because this shape, a polyol equation is the same shape as MIHMP. So we can also use the algorithm to the save the ICG in short case. So conclusion, yeah, after more than 15 years, we improved the bound for the save the MIHMP for the first time. Moreover, we also 
uh, obtained the best attack result on the ICG till now. Thank you. Two questions, really. Uh, one of them is, can you say a few words of what, what are these helpful polynomials? How did you get them? And the second question is, is there an idea there that can help you improve on the Coppersmith methods in other contexts? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, you mean the first uh, problem is a polynomial equation? Well, what are these helpful polynomials that you are adding into the lattice? I mean, you have more polynomials than most okay. reason for okay. this. Uh, this is a um, very technical detail. So I, I didn't write the detail in the, this, the slides. You can uh, read uh, the paper from, uh, from the Crypto 29 or the ePrint. E -print. Uh, if you can um, some, some problem or trouble, you can write uh, me and the other authors. It's a very technical detail, mm -hmm. so it's very long. So I, need, I just uh, uh, high, high level, high level tell you uh, the helm for polynomial is very important. Okay, so you, the second problem, like, what's, what's this? Can, it, can the technique that you're using be applied to Coppersmith technique more generally on other attacks? Sorry? <laughs> can this technique be used more generally in other Coppersmith style attacks? Mm, style attacks? Other Coppersmith attacks, other... For example... Yeah, the, the attack on RSA, for example, using Coppersmith technique. Yeah. Can that be improved using your ideas? Or uh, so, uh, you mean, uh, I sh could you uh, use this idea to improve the other bound? Mm -hmm. A lot of bound? Um, I think uh, this, uh, this problem, this method could be used the uh, iniquiter uh, curve, iniqui sorry, my English is not good, so mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't know uh, how to say. Uh, maybe I need a uh, Tuyan uh, Elliptical. Tuyan uh, hidden lump, hidden lump, so the other uh, virus of the hidden lump problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe use the, this the method. Okay. Yes. <coughs> In the example you showed, uh, you had nine original um, polynomials, and then you added three helpful polynomials. Num yeah. <coughs> number uh, 10, 11, 12. Yes. Um, could you add more? The more you add, the better your attack will become. So why did you stop at uh, uh, three helpful polynomials? Is it all you can find, or are they all that exist? In, in the example. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this one problem is very important. Uh, so we need to uh, prove the linear independent. So you can get the more and more helpful polynomial, but this the helpful poly polynomial is uh, Dep um, linear dependent, then the previous is no use. So, so what is the general bound? Uh, so how many poly I think helpful uh, the, three, the three polynomial is just linear independent. So we need a proof. At the most, uh, at the most, uh, the number he is a uh, linear independent. But do you have a general formula for how many linearly independent helpful polynomials uh, you can find, or how many exist? Mm, so uh, yeah. So I I give this one. So is uh, n choose d plus one. N choose D plus one is a linear independent. Okay, this always exists. Yeah, 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 I think it's at the most. Yeah, this one, I can show you. So this, this is, this is, I think it's a linear independent. Okay. Because we can pr prove it's a triangle, triangle lattice basis matrix. So it's a linear independent. Okay, thank you. We have time for another question or two. 
Okay, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.